Colton Harris Moore, the teenager known as the Barefoot Bandit, was indicted in Seattle this week. Tomorrow night, 48 Hours Mystery has an hour-long special on his alleged international crime spree, including exclusive police interrogation video. 48 Hours correspondent Peter Van Zant has a preview. By the spring of this year, Colton Harris Moore's audacious aerial joyrides, including four airplane thefts, had put him on the radar of law enforcement in two countries. He had been on the run for two years. He's getting more attention in the United States than bin Laden does. Maybe that's why Colton left the United States. In July, he allegedly stole his fifth plane in Indiana and flew it all the way to the Bahamas. We finally made it to Colton's plane. The landing skid path through here is about 50 yards long, and if you look right here, he lost a landing gear as he was making this crash landing. He managed to keep it level somehow. As you can see, the nose is in the grass. He got out of that plane reportedly uninjured and headed into the island. The Royal Bahamian Police vow they will find the infamous barefoot bandit. We should be able to take him down, have him in custody in the quickest possible time. Harris Moore flaunted authorities for six days on the island, breaking into at least seven homes and businesses on one last crime spree. But by week's end, they got him in custody. In this video, exclusive to 48 Hours, the police questioned Colton, now outfitted in a bulletproof vest. They offer him food and water. And check out the world's most famous bare feet. They also ask where he got his gun. Where you got that gun? I can't remember. A Walther PPK, the same type used by James Bond. He says he doesn't remember, and they all share a laugh. <laughs> After a quick court hearing, Colton Harris Moore is deported back to the United States. And Peter Van Sant, also back in the United States after his globe trotting, and he joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. You can't make this stuff up. This you is can't. crazy. I'd say this is like out of a movie, and it's going to become a major motion picture. It's it's an extraordinary tale of a brilliant young man who sadly went uh, off the rails. Yeah. But you know, we got to know this guy by following him around the country for all those months. You kind of had a taste of what it was like to be the authorities chasing him because you would go and go and go and never seem to catch him. How was he finally caught? Yeah, this is like the movie, you know, Catch, catch me, me If, if you, you Can. Catch Me If You Can, yes. We were always just a few steps behind uh, Colton. And when we got into the Bahamas at the end of this story, we were the first people out to his downed aircraft. We were on this island called Abaco, going to business to business as we heard he had, he had done various break-ins. It was a very exciting story to follow. How was he finally captured? He stole a boat from a place called Harbor Island and he made a big mistake. He was heading out to open ocean, hot pursuit of the Bahamian authorities right behind him. He hits a sandbar of all things. Oh. This kid who had taught himself how to fly hits a sandbar. They come up, shoot out his engine so, that, so he can't flee anymore. He puts a gun to his head oh. uh, and then uh, eventually they talk him down and they arrest him. Wow. And, and at that moment, the 23,000 members of his Facebook fan club went, aw. Yeah, you know what? it's crazy it that got, he actually had a fan club. It got to more than 100,000 members. Did it? Yeah, and, wow. and their hero was, was, was captured. All right, well, we can't wait for the story tomorrow. Peter Van Sant, thank you so much. Thank you. Be sure to watch 48 Hours Mystery on the Barefoot Bandit tomorrow night at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS.